Amy. Good afternoon. So beautiful outside. I thought I would read you a book that I love. It's short and sweet, but I really like the message. And it's called Thank You Bees. Just with it being spring and almost summertime, you might see um, a lot of things in bloom right now. And you might see some bees here or there. Bees are very, very important. They pollinate the flowers and help the flowers grow and they help a lot of our food grow too. So sometimes when we see a bee, we might be a little nervous and bees are the little, the little kind of shorter, stouter ones. Wasps are the longer, skinnier ones, but bees are very important um, for our environment, food, for the flowers. And I just love this book because it underscores that and everything that's growing right now in abundance and that we need to be grateful for. So this is called Thank You Bees. Sun gives us light. It's a beautiful sunshine, I love it. Thank you, sun, and it's so true because nothing would live without the sun. The sun grows everything too. So we really need sun and rain to grow things and we need bees to help with that too. Bees give us honey, yum. So those little bees make honey in the beehives and then we get the honey from that. Thank you bees. So bees are very busy. You might've heard that expression before. You're a busy little bee or that's a busy bee. That's because they work so hard to pollinate flowers, to make honey. They do a lot of things for us that we don't even realize. Sheep give us wool. So this cute little sheep they shear the sheep, it doesn't hurt the sheep, but it's almost like the sheep goes and gets a big buzz, a haircut, a big shave. And then when we wear wool caps or wool sweaters, that's from sheep's wool. It's pretty amazing, really. And that little bird has a little piece of wool in its beak. And I think that little bird is gonna take that to the bird's nest that it's building. So that wool is helping the bird to make a home as well. Thank you, sheep. And look, here's a cute little sheep that has its own little sweater on. <laughs> and there's that bird again. I just noticed that little bird's over there seeing if it get a couple extra little pieces of wool for its nest. Clouds give us the rain. Thank you, clouds. That's so true too. Our flowers don't grow unless we have sun and rain, both very important just like we need to drink water. That's good for us, the ground, the soil, the plants, the flowers, the trees, the crops, they all need lots of rain and sun. Trees give us wood. So this little boy has a super cool tree house that he built and this tree is, um, is a house for that, holding it up. And then here's a little bird house also made out of wood. So trees are very important. Thank you, trees. He planted this little tree, kind of a little sapling. And then in a long time, it will grow up to be big and strong like that. Kind of like Miss Amy's sunflowers that I planted. I'm hoping that those grow into big, strong sunflowers. And I'm gonna keep putting those on the YouTube channel so you can watch and see how it's doing. Dirt gives us plants. So without soil and things like that, Wonderful things like carrots couldn't grow. They have to grow way down from the soil and grow up out of the ground. If we didn't have that rich dirt and soil with the sun and the rain, then a lot of food wouldn't grow. Thank you, dirt. Look at those carrots growing down there. All those roots. And here's some little earthworms, some little dirt worms. And they kind of almost move the soil along because they burrow into the soil. So they almost make little holes so that the water can drip down and the vegetables can get the water. Earth gives us our home. So we live on the planet Earth and all these things live in the Earth. The bees, this owl, these beautiful trees, this little bird and its nest with the little eggs, our own home that we live in. Thank you, Earth. So this little boy's looking at a globe of the entire Earth with all the countries and continents on it, all the bodies of water. So I love how this book kind of comes full circle. 
it starts out with the small things that we should be grateful for that are around us every day and it ends up with really we need to be thankful for our entire planet and most importantly we need to take care of our entire planet whenever we can that means recycling that means trying to use as little plastic as possible that means picking up garbage and throwing it away when we see it even if it's not our trash picking things up um, and putting them in the garbage helps to clean it up so then also animals don't get those things in their throat and choke. There's so many things that we can do to just um, make the planet cleaner and make our earth better. And we need to be mindful of that every day. It's little things that we all do that add up to be great big things. So even if you feel like, gosh, I'm really little, I really can't do anything. That's not true. You can do a lot. You can help your mom or dad in the yard and in the garden to keep things healthy, to water plants, um, like Miss Amy said, recycling and picking up trash. And all of us have a responsibility to try to make as little trash and recycle as many things as we possibly can. So just some little things that we can do to keep the earth healthy. And we can also thank the bees. So instead of trying to kill them or swat them away, we, we need to be mindful of them and try to stay out of their way because they're doing a lot of important work too. So I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly enjoyed reading it to you, and I wish you well. Have a great day.